Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm doing pretty good. I'm here digging a little bit of obsidian. Oh, there's the 14th bit. There we go. That's all I need. Because in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, what we are going to be doing is a little bit of exploring. We've had quite a lot of building episodes in a row. And uh, a lot of you guys were sort of aching for an exploration episode. So, I mean, why not? Why not? What I think we're going to do, though, because I've got all of this obsidian, what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to whip out the flint and steel. We're going to make ourselves a secondary portal in the nether. And then as a result, it should take us out to a completely new part of the world. Now, at the time of me recording this, there is indeed a brand new snapshot out, which is 18W14A. But sadly, I haven't updated to it because there is a pretty massive bug in the this screen here, the F3 screen, does not work in 18W14A. So I've held off from updating for now, but uh, we will definitely update to future snapshots should they wind up being a little bit more stable and a little less broken. So yeah. But anyways, guys, before we do anything, I just want to quickly show you guys the progress I've done with, uh, with regards to this area. Now, as you can see, we've got ourselves the wall. We've got ourselves the pillars here. Oh my word, this is looking good. And believe it or not, guys, I mean, the fence, it's, it's pretty much done like the fence in its entirety is done we decided to go for sort of a cracked sort of cobblestone kind of texture kind of thing here i think it looks pretty cool we could potentially add a little bit more depth i mean currently it's only one block thick right i could probably go ahead and put some lower bits of cobblestone on the sides of this to make it a little more interesting, but uh, for now, it's looking good. It really, really is. I am, uh, I'm a big fan of this. I really, really am. And by having all of this now walled off, we now have a much better idea of just how much space we have left to build in this town. So, yeah. I mean, when it actually comes down to it, like, in terms of, like, a percentage, I'd probably say we're, like, 60% of the way through this town. And once this town is done, we'll move on to the next settlement, which is... And yes, you guys are right. It is indeed going to be an aquatic underwater style base. And it is going to be amazing. It's going to be a heck of a grind to try and get us our sponges. I mean, you know, we'll be going ahead and taking down ocean monuments. But, you know, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. I have not built an underwater base in a very, very long time. I think Neptune's Empire back in Python Plays Minecraft Season 1 might have been the last time I did anything with the water. Now, I would very much like it if Minecraft would update before then because currently there is a pretty fatal bug. Now, the crashes that I have been experiencing apparently are mostly due to the new Drowned mob, right? So, it would be nice if a new update came out and the Drowned were fixed before we started the underwater base because unfortunately if we started it now, then uh, we would just have crash after crash after crash and as you guys know from my previous episode, we had a pretty fatal crash that actually corrupted the entire world. But, you know, luckily, I am very smart and I backed up my world before each and every episode, so that's all good. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just one of those things, really. I'd like it to be fixed, ideally, before we start work on any kind of thing. So, uh, we have previously gone in an eastern direction in our world, like a thousand, maybe a couple thousand blocks. I'm thinking, uh, I mean, you know, d divide 2,000 by 8. That's what, uh, 250, I think? So if we go 250 blocks to the west in the nether, I think we could come across some awesome stuff. I think it'd be a cool idea to have some sort of nether portal network, actually. Uh, Alright, so here we go, in the nether. Oh, good day to you, sir. How you doing there, buddy? So, I mean, this portal is pretty much... I mean, I could probably get away with relocating this portal exactly at 0-0, zero, zero up in the roof of the nether. I mean, to be honest, that's what I want to do anyway, so we can make ourselves a bit of a tunnel system, because in my opinion, that's probably the, the easiest and safest way of navigating the nether, right? Alrighty, guys, so here we are at 0, zero 115 blocks up in the nether. Uh, if we went up any more freaking layers, we would wind up at the ceiling bedrock, so we should be able to get this thing rolling. There's our flint and steel. Let's get you placed down, and we should wind up back at the flower forest town Hopefully, please. Uh, yeah, there we go. Fantastic stuff. And do, 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 do. All is looking good. I'm going to go to sleep because why not? Even though we're going to wind up in the nether anyway, it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever the case may be, all is looking well. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are at negative 250 on the x-axis, which is what we're looking for. So, oh wow, that's a lot of, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of netherrack. We could probably utilize that in building, huh? 
Not bad, not bad. All right, so there we go. Flint and steel at the ready. We should wind up at around 2,000 blocks away from zero, zero. Uh, we have ourselves a bed. Uh, I'm actually kind of tempted to do a little thing right here. Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, if I just plop that down there. I just want to quickly chuck down the chest so I can put all of this nether rack away because for now, it's not going to be useful. It's just going to take up our inventory space and, you know, like I said, we just don't need it. So, yeah. All right, let's put all of that in there and there we go. Nice, clean inventory like I like it. So, yeah. And we've also got a lava bucket, apparently. Brilliant. Hey, man, I'm down with that. <laughs> Sweet. All right, guys, let's go through. Hopefully, we wind up somewhere awesome and not underground. I have no idea. I really, really don't. Okay. So, here we go. I would be very surprised if this did not crash. Oh, boy. Come on, then, buddy. Come on. Load into rain. <gasps> oh, mate. It's a freaking mega tiger biome. Yo, dude. Yeah, look at that. We nearly bang on 2,000 blocks away from zero, zero. Give, you know, a little leeway 15 blocks away. Holy lord, dude, that is sick. We've come across a mega tiger biome. We now have an endless supply. Well, it's not quite, you know, in air quotes, endless. But we have a decent supply of mossy cobble now. That is awesome. Okay, so let's just take uh, coordinates. So if we pretty much head to negative 2,000 and then zero, uh, you know, rounded, uh, we should wind up back at the nether portal. Dude, this is awesome. Oh, baby, this is looking good, man. This is looking good. I've always loved mega, mega tiger biomes. I love the fact that there's a bunch of pods all around, all that kind of stuff. Oh, yes. Look at this. Look at this, man. Hell yeah. There's some cool stuff going on here. <laughs> well, at the very least, we'll be able to get ourselves a, a plentiful supply of spruce logs. You know, that's pretty awesome, right? Oh, it's getting a little bit dark out, guys. We should probably go ahead and go to sleep, huh? Right, I kind of want to do a little thing here. We've got ourselves like a hidey hole kind of base dealio going on here. Uh, we can maybe make this tiny area over here into some sort of little bedroom thing. Something... Oh, no. Not, 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 not quite that, buddy. Not quite that. Right, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Okay. And then uh, we could probably decorate it. Why am I decorating a hidey hole? What? Python, you have no business doing this. You're supposed to be exploring, bro. Uh, boop, boop. And there we go. All is looking good. And go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey man, it's all good. So what I'd really like to do is, I think I'd like to go underground. I think I would very much like to go underground. Maybe try and find an abandoned mine shaft or something along those lines. Something that could prove to be, you know, fairly useful to us in terms of resource gathering, all that kind of business. So guys, you know when you have like a goal for an episode and then you try to stick to it and then you start on one thing and then it kind of takes up your entire life? Um, yeah, uh, uh, sometimes I don't know when to stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been hard at work trying to make this hidey hole look good. Don't ask me why I have spent so much time doing this. Um, I just kind of have. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I really don't know why I bother doing these things sometimes. I mean, I don't know, may may maybe it's a good thing. Like, I can't stand things looking bad anymore. Maybe that's a good thing. Like, maybe I'm trying to put more effort into my worlds and make them look nice, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I just I just know that I kind of want to decorate this hidey hole and make it look nice. We've got a little utility area over here. Really want to put a flower pot on top of there because, you know, I, I love flower pots and maybe on top of there as well. Uh, but in the, <laughs> in the meantime, uh, we, we, we have other things to do. We, we need to finish this off and, and then dig down and stuff. Um... <laughs> I really, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Like I say, sometimes I'll just start one thing and I'm like, oh, okay, we're, we're doing this now. Yay. <laughs> well, holy damn, dudes. We've only just gotten down to level 11 and there's some diamonds. How about it, my friends? How about that? <laughs> Not bad, if you ask me, my friends. Not freaking bad at all. All right, so here we go. We're at, uh, wait, which was my fortune one? That is my fortune one. That is one. That is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight diamond ore. Giving us 21 diamonds. That is nearly triple yield. Wow. That is, uh, that is a nice amount of diamonds from one vein. <laughs> oh, this is, this is a good time, my friends. I'm having a good time right now. Heck to the year, boys. Heck to the year. <laughs>
So, while we're going ahead and doing this, ladies and gentlemen, I think it might be a nice idea if we head into the common question of the video coming from Purston, who says this, Nice job with the town, Python. It is really starting to come together, but this is missing one thing. The town needs an official name. You are quite right. We don't even have an official name for our flower spawn town of awesomeness just yet. So... Here's what I would like you guys to do in the comments area below. I want you guys to get creative, okay? I need you guys to suggest names for the spawn flower town in the comments area below. Go on, go on, let's see what we can do. If you guys see any suggestions that you really, really like, be sure to thumbs up their comments so it has a better chance of being noticed by myself. I mean, I'm going to be going ahead and looking through every single suggestion anyway because I read all the comments of all of my videos on this channel. So, yeah, but uh, like I said, just be creative. See what you guys could come up with. Who knows, your name might just wind up becoming the name we use for our flower spawn town of awesomeness. So, yeah, let me know, guys. Let me know. I'd be very interested to know what you guys come up with. Whoa! <laughs> Look at those guys! They're mopping the skeleton! Oh! Okay, okay. There's a bunch of guys coming down. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, this guy! Wait, is he holding a bone or a sword? I have no idea. Oh, jeez, there's another one. What is with this? Invasion of the babies? What? Um, okay. Well, that just happened. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, hello. Hi. Why is everything spooking me today? I have no idea. Right, looks like we have indeed come across a little cave. Whether it's a fully-fledged cave system is another matter. Um, it would appear not. I mean, there's a little bit of gold. I mean, pff, I, I, you know, th th there's gold at the end of the tunnel, right? No, that's not a saying, is it? Not really. Anyways, we're looking good, guys. Not bad, not bad. I mean, I'll, I'll take that and the XP. I mean, we're now at 30 levels again. Oh, hello. It looks like it goes up here. Shall we have a little peek -see? Who knows? We might find something. Uh, I've no idea, though, in all honesty. I can hear zombies. Uh, hmm. I hear many zombies. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Python. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be your killer for today. Go on, get out of here, all of you. There you go. Hey, we looking good. Right, what's going on down there? Ooh, looks like there's some lava. Hello. Right, uh, anything over here? No, that looks like a little bit of a dead end. Uh, this looks like somewhere we might find diamonds. We're at diamond level right now, kind of, ish. Uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, hello. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm hearing many, many mobs at the same time. It is scaring me a little bit. Good day to you, sir. Oh, I didn't bring a shield down with me. Python, you numpty. Why did you not bring a shield down with you? Oh, my word. Right, where are we at right now? I have no idea. Like... I really have no idea. Right, is there any, like, diamonds around here? I'm surprised if there wasn't, to be honest with you guys. I mean, this is a pretty expansive cave system. There's a lot of mobs around here. This is a little bit frightening. Uh, good day. Nothing going on there. That creeper doesn't appear to be able to get over here, which I guess is okay. I'm not going to go ahead and uh, tempt fate. Hello. Oh, hello. Good day. Oh, look at all of you guys. There's a lot of these dudes. Spiders and zombies. There was a skeleton in the background over there somewhere. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, oh, he's got a freaking sword. What is this magic? Go on. Oh, my word. What is going on with these guys? What is the local difficulty around here? 3.77. Okay, so normal hard difficulty for reference is, what, 2.25? So, it's... It's a little bit high, and apparently the higher the, the local difficulty, the more chance the zombies will have of, uh, you know, of spawning in some some backup, as it, as it were. And, you know, these guys just in general will probably have more powerful gear. Oh, my word. Did that guy just take two and a half hearts away from me in one go? What the heck kind of bow is that? I want that in my life. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, it's a good thing we have a lot of chicken on us. Good lord above. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> good old-fashioned caving, eh, guys? Good old-fashioned caving. You gotta love it, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm... What? Are you serious? Okay. Um, That's pretty cool. Oh wow, this is an awesome cave, dudes. I gotta I gotta take a little screeny of that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is like all heaven around here. Look at this. Redstone, gold, iron, and diamonds. Wow, okay. Oh jeez. Holy moly. Right, so that was like a trap, wasn't it, Minecraft? 
You're freaking trying to trap me in. That's what it's trying to do. That's just, that's a scumbag move if ever I saw one. Right, anyways, uh, this one, oh, there we go. That appears to be a proper little vein of diamonds. We're now up to 29. Very, very nice. We have done, we've done really well on this caving session, haven't we? Like, we've come across 29 diamonds. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, then. I think we've just broken out into the ocean. Hello. Oh, my word. What the crap? Good lord above. Okay, um... <laughs> wow. We came out all the way over there? Jeez, dude. That's... That's pretty nuts, actually. Right, uh, where are we? Like, in... In reference to our old location. Uh... Okay, so we're a bit north. We're a bit north. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of tempted to go back down there and just sort of meander around or something. I don't actually know, really. I mean, all I know is I kind of want to continue exploring. Oh, God, there's the drowned. If I'm not careful, we're going to come across some crashes here, guys. Oh, no. All right, we need to we need to actually go to sleep because, yeah, this, this could get potentially quite bad. Uh, wait, where's my... Oh, I don't have a bed. I left it at the freaking hidey hole. Oh, Python, you noob. Oh, no. Hello! Hey! You know what could be a cool final thing to do in today's episode? I mean, pending, you know, if we get a bunch of crashes or not, it could be a nice idea to see- Oh, hello. It could be a nice idea to see if we could get ourselves a trident for the very first time in the series. Hello! And you got absolutely bamboozled. Come on then! Come on then! I'm awaiting for you! Well, guys, I guess in the meantime, we could maybe start exploring some of the other ocean bits and bobs. For example, we have ourselves a shipwreck right in this sort of bay here. This is kind of awesome. Look at all those chickens watching upon the ocean, like, looking at me. Go on, go for that loot. Yeah, too right I am. All right, let's go in here. All right, so let's see if we can find ourselves a treasure map. Oh, that's the treasure room. Awesome. 30 diamonds is now the amount we have. Absolutely brilliant. Look at all that beautiful stuff. All right, boom. Boom. Oh, jeez. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Uh, 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 get up, 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 get up. Ah. Holy moly. All right, well, I don't have any uh, uh, potions of water breathing, so that's a bit of a derp. Uh, wait, is there any, like, air pockets under here that I could potentially utilize? I don't think there is by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it, does it? All right, uh, I'm not too fussed. Oh, hello. Oh, I am fussed about A, my oxygen, and B, that guy down there. Good day to you, sir. Are you going to drop me a trident today? I really would like to see that. No? Ah, dang you. Well, that's a thing. Right, now then. Let's try and find the other chests in this bad boy, huh? There's got to be... Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see one right there. Can I just open that? Should be able to just... Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, blast protection four. Good God. A lot, isn't it? That's quite a lot. Alright, that's pretty decent. Alright, and up we go. Let's not drown, boys. Let's not drown. That would be very, very embarrassing, wouldn't it? That's like one of the worst ways to go, both in real life and in this game. Anyways, uh, hey, look at that. Not bad. Alright, string, carrots, leather hat. Like, do we really need that? I don't really know, to be honest with you. But there's got to be one more chest in there, which I do believe is going to be the chest which has a buried treasure map, I think. So let's just pop in here. Is that it? Yeah, it is. Oh, baby, you better believe that's it. All right, so there's the buried treasure map. Awesome. All right, so that's it. The three chests are now explored. Brilliant stuff, guys. Brilliant stuff. I found an abandoned little house. <laughs> this is really near the surface as well. It's kind of awesome. All right, uh, let's quickly have an explore. All we've got to do is do a little bit of digging action. It's got to be somewhere around here. There's always a buried chest. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. All right, what have we got? Uh, ooh, Curse of Vanishing. Oh, man. Well, that's not that great, is it? Uh, I mean, I'll take the wheat. That's pretty useful. But aside from that, everything else is pretty trash, to be honest. Um, you know, I could have gotten better stuff, to be honest with you. But hey-ho, it's all good. We're nearly there, my friend. So let's get back. Ah, uh, here we are back in the overworld and back in our flower town. Let's go to sleep real quick just to get rid of the rain. And we're going to do a few things. Well, just to finish off the episode, uh, which is going to be, first of all, we're going to put this fish in uh, this lake. Wait, can we actually do that? Oh, is he in there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at him. Look at a fish in there. <laughs> That's awesome. 
We got a little bit of wildlife in there. Now, obviously, he isn't going to be the only fish roaming around in there. Although, I feel like we should go ahead and at least name this first fish. So, when we get ourselves a name tag, we can, of course, go ahead and do that. Now, uh, real quick, I just want to chuck away the cobblestone so I can actually do the final thing that I want to do, which is enchanting the remaining two bits of diamond armor. Because we have 33 levels, we can actually enchant twice. So, yeah. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's just get down here. We need the six lapis, and then we need the other bits of diamond armor. Now, here is the risky part. We have unbreaking three, or we have protection four. I would really like feather falling on this. Come on, don't let me down. Ah, oh, damn it, it let me down. Well, that's fine, and that was blast protection. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, so now we can take this stuff off and put on our brand spanking new diamond armor of awesomeness. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that, man. We've got fire protection, blast protection, and then two times regular protection. Uh, it would be nice if we had unbreaking on both the boots and the helmet, but, you know, you can't have everything in the world, can you? So, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We've got a pretty solid set of diamond armor. I'm pretty happy with that, so... Yeah, look at me! Look at me in my blingy, blingy diamond armor. And we pretty much made all of our diamonds back because we've got 30 of them, which is amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, it is going to be time to end this particular episode here. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do be sure to head down below the video, drop a like rating. It would mean the world to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and organize my inventory, and then we'll come back in the next episode and work a bit more on the town, I think. Good day to you, sir. You need to die. My creeper brothers cannot be allowed to live here. No, 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 no. Your kind is not allowed. Thank you for watching, folks. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.